if you're psychotic like myself, you're probably doing the Solstice event on all three characters, even though you don't have to. And if you are, well, you want to get through it as fast as humanly possible because it's just exhausting and ridiculous. And we all know it is. Yeah, you want to do 75 Gambit matches? <laughs> I'm going to... TOS, TOS, I'm going to calm down. So for this video, I'm going to talk about the Bonfire Bash and how you can basically get through the progress three, four, five times as fast as normal by using a simple trick that basically anybody can do, except Warlocks. I, I think Warlocks can't do it. Not, it sucks to suck, I guess. So for this video, it's going to be Hunter and Titan. Hunter is the lesser of the two. We'll show you why. But this trick, it revolves around the Relic and using a slide melee. So... First off, you're going to obviously launch Bonfire Bash, make sure you have your armor on, yada yada, etc. And then you're going to go ahead and start killing the yellow glowing boys as normal and picking up the Relic. Once you pick up the Relic, you have two ways of doing this. First up, on the Hunter. For Hunter, you're going to want to be on Arc Strider, Middle Tree specifically. You're going to want to use Tempest Strike, in case you don't know what that is. Here you go on screen right here. We're going to go to Tempest Strike, and it's going to say, after sliding, activate this melee ability to unleash a devastating uppercut attack. So, you're going to combine this with holding the ball, and then you're going to slide towards the tree in the middle. You're not going to slide towards it in a straight line, like direct center. You're, you're going to want to slide to the edges of the tree in a straight line, so like to the far left or to, to the far right. I kind of treat it as like a penalty shot. Um, it, you'll see on screen, I just kind of go pick a left or the right side edge, and then I just go in a straight line, slide, do melee, and then the game will say, you have stoked the flame, but you haven't actually thrown the ball. So, this method, for hunters anyway, gets you an additional stoke every single time, so instead of getting, you know, let's say 10, you get 20. And, uh, it's not as good as Titan, unfortunately, but it is still something, you know, it's still faster than the normal, so it is what it is. And you can do this as many times as you want, except... The issue is, once you've done the slide once while holding one particular relic, you can't do it again. So just do the slide, then throw the ball, get a new ball, do the slide, throw the ball, rinse, repeat. Because the, the melee charge just goes away after you do it the first time. Additionally, you could also drop the ball for your teammate, but that's if you're playing on a fire team, not just going in solo. And I imagine most people are going in solo. So let's go to Titan next. For Titan, you're going to want to be on Behemoth specifically, and it's more specific than that. You have to have the aspect Howl of the Storm on. If you don't know what this does, while sliding, activate your charged melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets and creates a stasis crystal. So what this does is basically create a bunch of stasis avalanches in front of you, and then that counts as stoking the flame, as you'll see on screen. It counts for multiples, by the way, more than the hunter slide. And then on top of that, you can break the crystals slash throw the ball. And I believe you get five, four, five, six stokes each time you do this it's extremely easy very simple and most importantly very very fast and it just zooms you through your uh, bonfire bashes i think you just do like maybe three of these while your teammates are gathering relics and then you're done you're out of there like sub five minutes i would say really really quick and if you combine this with the the leaf farm in the ghost mission if you don't know what that is i have a video on that as well and combine those two and you can go blaze like, get your leaves in, like, I don't know, let's say 10 minutes, maybe less. Then go and Bonfire Bash, and two runs using this strat, you get all your leaves burned and converted into ashes, and then you have 500 ashes to play with. So, really simple. Want to just cover that in case people want to zoom through their stuff, especially on characters 2 and 3, because those are just going to be... <sighs> Final thing I wanted to say, uh, I know that there's a bug with Silver Ash where you get one ash... After completing Bonfire Bash, no matter what you do, it's not tied to doing these strats. It's tied to seemingly starting your old characters after you finish your first one and the game just bugs out and refuses to give you more than one ash. It's happening to a lot of people who have done the same thing with alt characters. So don't worry about like the slide thing. It's not causing it from that. Um, if your first character is your Titan, congratulations, you beat the game. Stay on that character and keep doing your ash farming on that character and uh i would not mess with your alts until bungie says something or patches it or somebody finds a solution if somebody does find a solution before bungie says anything then i'll i'll make a video on that because i feel like that's a, a pretty important topic because people are getting screwed over with their ashes myself included one final note if anybody has figured out a way to do this on warlock that i haven't maybe i missed something maybe i'm dumb uh, as far as I know, all the melees for Warlocks don't work for this particular thing, but I could be wrong. I haven't 
like touched every fragment and aspect but um yeah it seems like it doesn't work maybe somebody found a solution and they know so let me know in the comments if you do also if you guys want to see something else revolving around solstice that i haven't already posted about let me know and i'll, I'll try to look into it or maybe just something completely different i've been thinking about doing a video of king swall versus wrath why i think it'll be x-rayed also we have the corrupted on tuesday and uh Sadia is kind of a pain in the ass and it's kind of tradition to just spawn killer now but storm chaser got a nerf in the last patch and also we lost the whole radiant stacking combo on top of that so it may be a little more difficult to do but uh i'm going to try to experiment and find out if there's a, a new easier solution i'm sure storm chaser can probably still kill Sadia with the spawn kill but it's not a guarantee anymore, I feel like, because it does shoot pretty damn slow now. Um, I'm going to try other stuff and see if that works out. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see that uh, post-patch spawn kill video type of thing. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the closing. So, that's it for this one. Hopefully this helps you zoom through and finish your event faster. Uh, a like, share, subscribe would be appreciated. Let's help the channel. Also, stream daily on Twitch, twitch.tv slash beaver. The link is in the description below. Also, turn on the notification bell. I'll catch you guys in the next video.